Yeah! Oh, what up, guys, and welcome back to the second episode of the Nebraska Sandhill Crane Trip with Ducks Unlimited. Had an amazing time, but we're going to get right into it here. But I want to let you guys know that 20% off the entire DucksWaterfowl.com website today and tomorrow. Only two days left to save you some jack, guys. But save yourself 20% on the Ducks beanies, on the Ducks patch hats, on hoodies, on the old khaki hat, everything on the website oh and and the ducks thermal sweats oh yeah all of it 20 percent off today and tomorrow if you guys want to check it out i will link it down in the description below but thanks for showing up on the second episode of the nebraska trip i hope you all really really enjoy it oh let's do a little bit of time check so we're all sitting in this big old blind here it is 6 35 Five. It gets completely dark, like right at 8 o'clock. They're all moving in. They're all moving in closer to the river here. And they're feeding closer to the river the later it gets. So, we got our one uh, decoy out there. Old Leroy is what we've been calling him. And uh, we're really hoping, we're keeping our fingers crossed, that we can get him to sit down right in front of the blind. That's, that's what everybody wants to see. Everybody's got their cameras ready and everything. So, this is an awesome awesome little trip guys i know most of my videos i'm out shooting stuff and decoying birds and, and teaching you guys how to hunt but uh this trip's really special to me getting invited by ducks unlimited to come out with these guys is just absolutely amazing awesome group of guys one gal and um just an amazing experience coming out here seeing the property is this is unreal so well, this is what we've been watching here they don't want to come and sit down with Leroy, the solo decoy. They want to go land over yonder. Single and mingle. He's single, he wants to mingle, but they don't care. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need old Leroy to Mitch, work it. Mitch, dance up on that. <laughs> we definitely need old Leroy to work his magic here. <laughs> come on, Leroy. Oh, here we go, boys. Here we go. They're loving it. They're just uh, loving the one Leroy spread we got going on right here. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. They're landing. Not directly in front of us, but they're landing out there. So cool. So cool. That's a bunch. It's getting dark, so... <laughs> Great viewing here. I can't record. Uh -huh. Well, good morning. It is the next day. And uh, last night, as you could tell. Damn, Bob, I got to take care of it. Drop it on your throat. Oh, so, thanks, Mike. So, last night, the, uh, the cranes landed, I don't know, probably 80 yards in front of the blind. We didn't get them to land with our solo decoy right where we wanted them to. But today, uh, hopefully they all moved around on the river and hopefully they're a lot closer to the blind when we get there. So all of us are gonna sneak in, in the dark, with, hopefully without being seen, get back in the blind and we're, I'm gonna try to get some good footage of them lifting off the roost. Let's hope it goes that good. <laughs> well, we're in the blind here and there are absolutely a ton of birds out here in front of us. It's still dark to where you can't see them, but they are out there. There is a ton right there. You can barely, barely, barely see them. Pretty neat. What a sight to see. Well, first group of geese are getting off. Uh oh. Holy 
the smokes. All the geese. It's insane how much waterfowl is here right now. Oh, crazy. This is unreal. Got loud. <laughs> now we're finally getting some light here. So this is, oh yes, I have contacts in, no goggles today. So this is just unbelievable. It's like I'm in Jurassic Park for, for goodness sakes. Uh, but we're all inside of the steel storage container and uh, we're all just taking pictures and enjoying this view. It's, it's amazing. Uh, a lot of cranes got up, uh, but there's a ton in front of the blind out here where you just seen. But the purpose of this trip, guys, uh, I know a lot of you always want to see me kill something or shoot my gun or do something like that But you got to understand is uh, when I was invited on this thing and I was told exactly what it was It's for conservation guys ducks unlimited does so much maintenance For waterfowl in general. They're really big on having you know just like this the big stopping points on on the migration they're concerned about making sure that these habitats, that these stopping points, these habitats remain fresh and nice. And they do a great job at uh, making sure that these big roosts and stopping points are very providing for uh, the migration. This is the bottleneck. I think I said it earlier in the video. So what happens is on uh, the return migration, this is just what happens on the, on the return. So on the northern migration, it's called the hourglass. Grand Island is basically the hourglass for cranes, for sandhill cranes. Now we did see a couple whoopers, that was awesome, yesterday, but for the most part, sandhill cranes, this is the hourglass. This is the bottlenecking point, and after Grand Island, when they leave here, here next week or whenever it is, they spread back out as they move north. Some go over to Alaska, some go straight north into Canada, some, you know, go off a little bit east. Northeast, so uh, this is an awesome, awesome trip. I'm very privileged and honored to be here with a great, great group of Ducks Unlimited guys and gals. Just an amazing trip. I mean, this is uh, this is what it's all about right here, guys. This is why we get to do what we love. Conservation of habitat is so big uh, for waterfowl hunters like me and yourself. Migration is huge. These birds get worn out. They get very, very worn out when they are migrating, especially when they're pushing hard. Like right now, these birds are pushing really, really hard to get back north. Geese, ducks, cranes, obviously, but they're pushing hard. And they need these good stopping points like this to be nurtured and maintained so they can rely on it every year to provide. 
because these birds get exhausted and they got to sit down for a week or two regather themselves before they start the last half of their big push but just amazing to witness this it is the magnitude of waterfowl here is incredible i mean i know right here we can only see you know a thousand cranes or two thousand whatever it might be but you got to understand up and down the platte river right here every sandbar is just like this up and down the entire thing so it's estimated right now that there's only 30 percent of the cranes here right now that means there's only roughly two to three hundred thousand here there's going to end up being in total at a hundred percent it's supposed to be seven to eight hundred thousand i believe so it's really insane to think that yesterday out of the 284 whooping cranes we actually i saw three yesterday three different feeds but the one that i recorded you know, I know he was small out there, but I, at least I got him on film. Pretty insane. 284 out of this flight line out of 700,000 cranes. We actually saw three white whooping cranes yesterday. That's pretty awesome. Well, check this out. This is neat. You got cranes standing right here, and then you got deer literally five, ten yards from them. That is cool. Well, we're packing up, getting everything ready to get out of here. I don't know, it's only about a 200 yard walk back to the truck. Not bad at all. We do have to pick up. We can't forget our buddy Leroy the Crane Decoy. Uh, he didn't work out very well for us. He didn't pull in all, the, all of his buddies over here. But uh, valiant effort, Leroy. Valiant effort. Whew. Well, back home here after, well, not a bad drive at all. I think it was only like a three and a half hour drive, which isn't bad at all, considering the fact that I drove to Canada this year to go hunt. But, as you guys know, this wasn't a hunt. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because this is all about conservation. This video, uh, I'm actually very proud, very, very proud to have made and to have given the opportunity to go with this group of guys and gals from ducks unlimited such an awesome group of people that invited me thank you guys so much uh for inviting me along with y'all uh just an amazing experience to see the tradition of conservation and what i mean by that is ducks unlimited they do so much good by conserving the wetlands just like cheyenne bottoms here in kansas just like so many big wetland areas are always doing projects to renovate them and make them better for the ducks but grand island nebraska the bottleneck that hourglass for cranes who would have thought that every crane literally in the midwest flyway bottlenecks down chokes down on the return migration to an 80 mile stretch so think about that wherever they're at in texas new mexico you know oklahoma kansas wherever they're at as they charge back north they bottleneck down in grand island nebraska an 80 mile stretch so that's why it's called the hourglass the bottleneck for cranes in grand island and as you could tell grand island the entire city is based around cranes that's the first time i've ever been to grand island but the entire city the hotel was based around cranes they had crane pictures inside they had a whole tourist facility about cranes so it's just insane the magnitude of cranes in grand island like i said earlier saturday through monday we're doing 20 percent off everything on the ductswaterfowl.com website i will link our hats our hoodies them thermal sweats all this gear down in the description below go check it out if you want to pick something up and save you some jack but like always thank you all for being here without you guys i couldn't be doing this and let me tell you what i love doing this that trip just like solidified it in me it's like 
you didn't have to pull the trigger, you didn't have to sit out a decoy, you didn't have to blow a call, and that's just fine. You know I love hunting, but just being able to take it all in really made it all come full, full circle on the aspect of conservation. It's very important, y'all. But I hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't. We will see you on the next one. Peace.